Hello out there jazz lovers and jazz piano students. Joe C here, jazz pianist and internet piano professor. Today's lecture will be on the days of wine and roses and we're going to start our series of jazz piano lessons 2019 with this very popular song written by Henry Mancini and Johnny Mercer which was featured in the movie of the same name and which won an Academy Award for Best Song. This song has been recorded by countless jazz artists and is a favorite at jam sessions. And um, there will be a in-depth analysis after I play it on the uh, pianissimo and you'll get a very nice sounding recording of that following this uh, little video. As always, if you like, please hit the like button and subscribe and uh, the sheet music for this arrangement is available in PDF form. If you uh, contact me at the e email below, I will be more than happy to send it to you. So I hope you enjoy this little analysis of the Days of Wine and Roses. Okay, uh, we're going to start off here. Now the first chord in the tune is an F6, add ninth, and I'm using a left hand arpeggiation. You have the root, the fifth, the ninth, and the third or the tenth, and I'm holding them all down with the pedal. See? Then we have the E flat, ninth, and you can hold this down with the sostenuto pedal. That's the middle pedal if you have one. See? That holds down the low note. And here you have an E flat ninth, the third, seventh, ninth, so. It's an A minor ninth, very plain. If you can't play this all at once, because you need a big hand to do that, you can strum it and catch it with the pedal. Okay? Then you have a D. Seventh with a sharp knife. Okay. F sharp, C, F, D down there. Now the arpeggiations again on the G minor ninth. The A minor. See that? Same arpeggiations. One, five, nine, three. One, five, nine, three. Now has a B flat, has a sharp seventh in the melody, the E flat ninth, A minor. Here the melody note is a C, and the accompanying note accompanying notes would be the seventh and the ninth. Now we're going to do a couple of drop two voicings here, the D minor. Really an F sharp and these is Drop twos were a type of voicing that uh, Bill Evans was very fond of. G minor with the eleventh. Again the G minor. With the F in the bass. Bringing this down to this E half diminished. A seventh. 
D minor, G 13th. Here we have a D flat ninth with a sharp 11th, ninth sharp 11th, which turns into the C ninth, brings us back to the F. Just repeating the first measures. You have here a B minor 11th, in the B flat 13th, A minor, G minor, G minor, C ninth, F sixth. 